today's tech news drop is gonna blow your mind. How's it going everybody? This is Dave LeClaire with MEO Tech Bytes and I am here to tell you about the latest from the world of technology. It has been a busy 24 hours. The news has been going down. I have been watching it extremely closely and I'm gonna tell you all about it right now. Kicking things off with story number one, Netflix might be looking to move into the world of video games. There have been some reports out there that Netflix has been actively recruiting executives to run some sort of video game branch of its business. Now that would make a lot of sense when you consider there are services like Game Pass, which kind of function as like a Netflix for video games. It would make sense for the Netflix of Netflix to want to get into that space and possibly offer some type of streaming game service or even a downloading game service where you subscribe and you get your games delivered to you every month or however they want to do it. So it'd be interesting to see if this all actually happens but the reports do indicate that they are actively looking and we'll see if it becomes anything. So unfortunately, we don't really know much more details about exactly what's gonna happen with this, if it's even gonna happen at all. We looked for a job listing on Netflix site to see if there was any video game mentions in any of the job listings, and there isn't. But if Netflix is seeking high-level executives, they may go out and court them manually and not post job listings online. They may actually reach out to executives from video game companies and say, hey, we're Netflix, would you like to come work for us? So that may be why we don't see the job listing. If this becomes something, it could be a really cool way to play new video games without having to go out and spend 60 or 70 bucks a pop. So the biggest issue with smart home stuff is that not everything plays together. Every different brand has its own smart home stuff and they all kind of work a little bit differently with their own hubs and all that. Google is no exception, but they have promised that they're going to update all of their hub speakers and their displays to work with Matter to bring everything together into that unified smart home system where everybody's devices will play nicely together. Google also said that products like Nest Thermostat will be updated to work with Matter. So if you are part of that Google smart home ecosystem, but you have a couple other products that are outside of the Google system, they should all play nicely together thanks to Matter. Hopefully Matter ends up being adopted by all major smart home companies and it becomes the standard because that'll make getting into smart home a little bit easier. You can pick up an item that's on sale from this brand and combine it with an item from this brand and still build out your full smart home but without having to be so stuck into one company's ecosystem. Google even went as far as to say that Android will work with Matter, it'll control all of your devices on your smart home, which is to be expected. Google did not give a time frame for this update in terms of when it's gonna come to its Nest products and other devices, so we'll have to wait and see. But at least it appears that Google is all in on this and we will have a unified smart home system before we know it. So if you're anything like me, you probably want that blue check mark next to your name on Twitter. There's just some sort of prestige that comes with having that, but unfortunately you haven't been able to apply to get that check mark for the past four years, but now Twitter is bringing that application back. Now of course you will need to be some sort of public figure in order to qualify to get your check mark, but if you are, you can apply and see if Twitter will give you one. There is a little bit of a process, it doesn't take too long, but it's worth a shot. Now in order to qualify, you'll need to be government, a company, a brand or an organization, a news organization or a journalist. You'll have to be in entertainment, sports or gaming, or you'll have to be an activist, an organizer or another influential individual. That last one is where things can get a little muddy. What exactly defines somebody as influential? Well. That's open to Twitter's interpretation, so even if you're not necessarily one of the, the key listed categories, if you feel that you are influential, maybe you can apply and get that blue check mark. And with that, friends, loved ones, hated enemies, this episode of MUO Tech Bites is over. I hope you enjoyed it, I hope you found it useful, I hope you found it informative, and I hope you found it entertaining, because really, that's what we're all on YouTube for, right? To be entertained. Make sure to like this video, make sure to subscribe to MUO's YouTube channel, Make sure to turn on notifications so you know when a new episode of Tech Bites drops every single weekday. And I will see you in the next episode.